welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. I have four DIYs for you, and unfortunately, I'm just going to have to talk about them. I don't have any video footage of me actually making them because I accidentally lost all of it. And I do also want to apologize for not making a video in four months. Yeah. So, um, without a further ado, let's get started. The first DIY is a personalized iPhone charger. Um, I decided to make this because one day our family and I, we went on vacation and we got all of our little chargers mixed up and so I just decided to personalize mine. What you will need is a disposable cup, Mod Podge, glitter, and a sponge and a charger of your choice. Um, then what you want to do is in a solo cup or whatever disposable dish you use, you want to mix equal parts of Mod Podge and glitter and you're just going to stir it up until it has a nice thick consistency and you'll just want to tape off any parts of your charger that you don't want to get Mod Podge on. In your sponge you just want to dab the mixture of Mod Podge and glitter around the outside of your cube. Set it off to the side and let it dry. Within about four hours I would say you can go back to it, remove your tape, and then you're going to want to cut off um, the excess. For the next project you'll need a couple mirrors and you're just going to sand them and paint them and hang them on your wall. Um, this is a really simple DIY. It probably took me 15 minutes. You just um, hang them on your wall and you can hang whatever you want around the inside. I chose to hang necklaces on mine and it's just an easy way to display them and make kind of an art piece but with things that you use every day. The next project is a scarf and this one was a little tricky to figure out but I really like the end product. So what you need is a white scarf. White works best because of what we're doing with it and you're just going to want to lay it out on the ground and take a black sharpie marker and you're just going to write in cursive or print. You can just pretty much draw any design or quote that you want on there and then you will throw it in the dryer for about 15 minutes to set the ink and when you're done you have a really cute personalized scarf. The final DIY you will need a mason jar, hot glue and again you'll need some paint. What you'll do is you'll take your mason jar and with the hot glue you will write letters or a design or a pattern and then you'll wait for it to harden. Once it hardens you can take acrylic paint which is what works best and paint over the letters and over the entire jar to give it this really neat, vintage, kind of worn down mason jar look. And I chose to put brightly colored flowers in mine to contrast the neutral color of the actual vase itself. And there you have it. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Now, before we leave, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. I'm trying to think of more things to do, and if you have any suggestions, leave comments down below. Also, if you like this video, like it up and subscribe if you really want. I was thinking about doing First Impression Fridays, and they probably won't be every Friday, but whenever I get the chance, I will do them. And I was also think of doing monthly favorites. If you guys are interested in those, just let me know down below. Thanks, bye!